we're going to briefly talk about how to make a static IP address for your external laptop so that you can communicate with the robot. So if you go up to the synchronize button via the workbench, you'll see that a communication error occurs. This can happen for a few different reasons, like your Ethernet's not plugged in or possibly you have not changed your Ethernet properties. So if you go to the Internet Protocol version 4, you'll be able to set your IP address to static. So here we're going to use 172, 31, 1, and 220. Just make sure you're not to use 147. That's what the robot is. Once you set your subnets, your subnet, you'll be able to check to make sure that everything that you just set up actually works using the IP config line in your command, command prompt. Once that's set up, you'll see here that I actually changed it and everything looks good. Now I can try to ping the robot. So I will try to ping 172.311.147, which is my robot address, and you can see that I get replies. So everything is set up. And then go back to Workbench and try to synchronize again. As you can see, once I synchronize, the synchronize wizard would pop up and will show me what project's on the controller and what my local project is.